In this presentation, I'm going to go over the progress reports and the courage and calling assign reflection assignments. So, about in the second week of each one of your professional portfolios, you'll turn in a progress report. And about every other week, you'll turn in a courage and calling reflection. So, I'll go over to progress reports first. You see that's in the appendix C of your syllabus. I have that open in front of you. So the, the whole idea of the progress report is make sure that you are actually doing work. The first progress reports, I know you're, we know you're doing work because you've been doing rough drafts. It's the other weeks when you're not doing rough drafts that uh, you need to tell us what you're doing. So you're going to write a one, you're going to provide a uh, title page. Uh, this is a, an assignment just like any other assignment in any of your classes. You'll follow APA. You'll have an APA formatted uh, title page. You provide, write a one to two um, paragraph report describing the activities you did during the weeks. So in the first portfolio or in my brain working here progress report will be during weeks one and two but in future progress reports you'll be addressing later weeks what did you do for the first two weeks that you uh, were doing portfolio two and portfolio three um, this could include what activities did you do during those weeks to complete this particular portfolio assignment this could include research, reading about the particular standard. Uh, you can talk about actually doing some of the things that you that address the standards or coaching uh, responsibilities at your work. But basically, what have you done during the first uh, during the weeks to demonstrate that you have actually been spending three to six hours working on your portfolios? That's really what you're trying to demonstrate in your your paragraph here. You should also include the goals that you have for the upcoming weeks uh, to um, to complete your professional portfolio. That may be uh, writing a particular section, finding an artifact, writing artifact section, whatever it might be. What are those goals? So if, this is uh, for the first progress report is going to be different than a second progress report. So in the second progress report, uh, explain how you satisfy your previous goals and what goals do you have coming up for the next couple of weeks um, to complete your professional portfolio. Again, you need to demonstrate that you are spending three to six hours per week working on your professional portfolio. So the other thing that you need to do is document the number of hours you've worked. So I have here and which progress report the number of week, what weeks you're going to report. You do not need to explain what you did during these hours of work. All you need to say is in week one, I worked 40 hours and week two, I worked 40 hours. What are the number of hours you work? Uh, this is kind of a practicum class. You are expected to work a minimum of nine hours per week in your job um, for this class. Some weeks are going to be higher and lower. If you have any issues with this, please contact your faculty member about this. Again, you don't need to explain this at all. You also include your courage and calling um, reflection in your progress report, and I'm going to go over that next. Whoa. So your courage and calling. Um, again, the points will be added to other assignments. So for our first courage and calling, it's on chapter one. So the progress report one, chapter one, professional portfolio, you got chapters two and three, so forth and so on. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to turn this in in two different places, actually, your reflection. You're going to turn it in in your, uh, for this particular, your very first uh, reflection is going to be in your progress report. And what you're going to do is you're going to provide a reflection of what you've learned from chapter one. 
and how you can specifically apply the material to your professional or personal life. Okay, so you're going to turn that in as a written response in your cur in your progress report assignment, and you're also going to post that in a form. When you post that, it will be the same same paper, same material, but I don't want you to attach that in the form. I want you just to copy and paste it in the form. You notice in the form, I ask you to post one or two open-ended questions. So those questions are questions that you had about the material when you're reading that particular chapter or chapters in, in future forms. Um, so you'll post those questions in the form and then you'll go back and read those uh, one, two other students courage and calling reflections and answer the questions that they have. The answers should be about a paragraph themselves. We're, we're back back to your fellow uh, students. It's a way for us to have a discussion about this courage and calling uh, text. So again, you'll turn in a progress report and courage and calling in week two. Then your next Courage and Calling will be as part of your professional portfolio and in a form. Then in Progress Report 2, you'll do Chapters 4 through 6. And your second portfolio will be Chapters 7 and 8. And your third portfolio will be Chapters 8 through 10. And Professional Portfolio 3, it's Chapters 11 and 12. And then the Reflection Paper, which is at the end of the class, it's the entire book. So I'll talk about that one. On, in the reflection uh, paper assignment. If you have questions about this, please ask your faculty member as we're here to help.